Well, cancer is on its way to becoming America's number one killer by 2030. That's according to the American Society of Clinical Oncology. And the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention say Rhode Island has the 19th highest cancer rate, while Massachusetts is in 10th place. The good news is that hundreds of Southern New Englanders are trying to turn those numbers around by taking part in the Relay for Life. Teams of people come together every year to raise money for cancer research, support survivors, and remember those who've lost their battle with the disease. Eyewitness News is a proud media sponsor and chief meteorologist Tony Petrarca has been at one of the events all afternoon. He joins us now live in East Providence. Tony. Well, the opening ceremony is kicking off about 15 minutes ago here at Pierce Field in East Providence. What's going on right now is the victory lap. Those people who have beaten cancer, uh, they're wearing purple shirts right now and taking that victorious lap around the track right now. Uh, it's one of the most uh, emotional portions uh, of the event uh, this evening, which goes right on through the overnight into early tomorrow morning. Have the opportunity to speak to uh, one of the event volunteers, and here's what she had to say about putting on tonight's event. Michelle, one of the many people that are here at the uh, Relay for Life, and this is more than a fundraiser. This, this is uh, personal for you as well. It's very personal for me. We've been participating in Relay since 2001. My mother passed away in 2000, and my sisters and I and my father and our children have been participating in honor of my mom. And then also since then, my sister had been diagnosed with breast cancer and my father with prostate, and they're both survivors, so we celebrate their lives. Now, are you are you part of the camp out team here tonight, or I am actually the logistics chair. I have been involved with camping out since 2000. Uh, I've camped out when my daughter was a year old, when my children were not quite born yet, and I have camped out since 2001. And this is certainly more than just laps around the track. It's the community coming together, and it, it's camping overnight and, and and bringing people together. It's bringing people together so that we can fight cancer. And celebrating uh, those people who have beaten the disease, supporting those people who have it, and to further research through the American Cancer Society. It's the society's largest fundraiser of the year. I mean, how appropriate. The, vict the victory lap is taking place right now. It was raining a little while ago. Now the sun is shining. So 